Nigerian rapper Idris Abdul Karim has released a new song titled Emilokan, aimed squarely at prominent figures, President Bola Tunubu, former President Buhari, and Pastor Adeboye. The song, which has already generated reactions on social media, shines a light on the dear struggles faced by Nigerians, including rampant hunger and economic hardship. Abdul Karim boldly reworks the familiar political slogan, Emilokan to Ebilokan, reflecting the cries of hungry Nigerians. Let's take a look. Emilokan, don't turn Ebilokan. Your bars are screaming. Ebilokan, are crying. My Hebrew brothers are saying, Don't blame them. Hebrews have been discriminated. Even food, don't turn to gold in Nigeria. Kidnapping, lucrative business in Nigeria. Imagine sending your grandchildren where they kidnap. By now, your soldiers for don't scatter Nigeria. How come a man won't get money for ransom when they kidnap him, his wife, and his children? After everything, we not kill them. Okay, so that song was just released recently. Um, in case you don't know who Idris Abdul Karim is, he's a Nigerian hip hop artist. He has been around for decades. He actually released another song targeted at the Nigerian government called Nigerian G Jaga Jaga. Everything scatter, scatter. That was so, 2004. 2004, yes. Oh, yeah. to, 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 exactly. So, this is not the first time he's, you know, singing about. Um, no, no, but, but in all reality, yes, people have qualms with Idris. You remember his debacle with Fessos Kiamo, and Kiamo was saying that, oh, it was because he came to ask him for something he didn't give, because he did a remix of that song recently before he now released this one. Yes. But I've always asked, and I put something up on my Twitter, I said, please, point out one lie in Idris's song about Ibiloko, as we speak today. Point out one lie. You can't. Whatever your problems with Idris is directly apt. President Tinubu took money, part of the supplementary budget last year, to refurbish the presidential villa and all of that, and the home of the vice president. When they were refurbishing that one, they did not remember that they were going to take extra $21 billion to complete the home of the VP. Today, he said he wants to buy jets. That one is there. They took 90 billion for Hajj. I hear they want to borrow another amount of money now. They borrowed two point something billion came in. At the same time, we've not been able to address the outcomes of food insecurity, poverty, and hunger. Correct. I was talking to a friend yesterday, and the friend was lamenting to me that how is it possible that 2 million naira is about 800,000 CFR? So, in the first one year, we will score him very low. And I'm not going to even score him alone. I'm going to score collectively the APC. This economy was over 500 billion. It was projected that if Nigeria kept on growing, 7-8% mark, we're going to be close to a trillion GDP then. As at that time, we did the rebasing. Today, Nigeria has lost half of that GDP to 253 billion. The APC has destroyed the economy of this country. It's been bad for economy. So please, I give you a challenge. Point out one lie out of Idris Abdul Karim's song. Let's have a debate. Well, my favorite line there is, this one don't pass Jaga Jaga. Yes, now. <laughs> we say, you know, it, when he did that uh, Jaga Jaga, scatter, scatter, in 2004. I think uh, President Obasanjo was so incensed yeah. that he, he responded to him personally. And now he says, no, it's not just Jaga Jaga, it's worse than Jaga Jaga. But, you know, within the theory, it's called satirical music, song as satire, song as social protest, yeah. you know, and it's a very realistic portraiture of the concerns of uh, Nigerians. Uh, well, he has exercised his uh, freedom uh, to express himself musically. I hope uh, they will allow him to also uh, enjoy the benefits of that uh, freedom, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs>